Hi, I'm Deb Rhodes, a physician practicing in the breast clinic at Mayo Clinic. In addition, I've been involved for over a decade in research on improving detection of breast cancer in dense breasts. I'll be talking about supplemental breast screening, which means breast imaging done in addition to screening mammography for the purpose of finding cancers not visible on a mammogram. Mammography remains the primary method to screen for breast cancer, but it is a less effective tool in women with dense breasts compared to women who do not have dense breasts. As we've heard in the other videos, this has led to legislation notifying women that dense breast tissue can mask cancers on a mammogram and encouraging women to speak to their healthcare providers about supplemental screening options. Dense breast tissue is common. About half of women who undergo screening mammography are found to have dense breasts. It's important to emphasize that for women with dense breasts, the decision to pursue supplemental screening is a personal one. There is no guideline or national consensus regarding whether all women with dense breasts should have supplemental screening or which type of supplemental screening is preferred. Therefore, it's important for any woman considering supplemental screening to understand the options as each option has potential benefits and risks. The main purpose and benefit of supplemental screening is the detection of cancers that are not visible on a screening mammogram because of surrounding normal dense breast tissue. Another potential benefit is the detection of tumors at an earlier stage when the treatments may be less invasive. Risks of supplemental screening include the detection of, or of findings that are not due to cancer but may lead to further tests and possibly biopsy. These are called false positive findings. Another risk is the potential for overdiagnosis, which means detecting cancers that would, do not require treatment because they wouldn't go on to cause harm. Lastly, there's the factor of cost. Some insurance plans don't cover supplemental screening, so it's always important to check with your insurance carrier about coverage. The options for supplemental screening include magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, ultrasound, tomosynthesis, and molecular breast imaging, or MBI. Let's begin with MRI. MRI is the imaging test that finds the most cancers. It is recommended for screening in women who are at high risk for breast cancer, including women with a strong family history of breast cancer and women who carry a genetic mutation that increases their risk for breast cancer. If you have these risk factors that place you at high risk, or if you are unsure, it is best to talk to your healthcare provider about whether you qualify for screening MRI. Because of the cost and complexity of MRI, it is not routinely used for screening in women without these risk factors. Breast ultrasound has been around for decades, but until recently, it was used only as a diagnostic tool. In other words, to evaluate abnormal findings on a mammogram or breast exam. More recently, it has been evaluated as a tool for screening the entire breast. It can be done either using a handheld ultrasound performed by a technologist or a physician, or using an automated device known as Automated Breast Ultrasound Screening, or ABUS. Tomosynthesis is a three-dimensional form of mammography that looks and feels similar to having a mammogram. Molecular breast imaging, or MBI, is a tool that was developed at Mayo Clinic. MBI is different from mammography in that instead of providing a picture of how the anatomy of your breast tissue looks, it provides information on the functional behavior of those breast tissues. That is, cells that are rapidly dividing and changing, as happens in a breast tumor, can be distinguished from normally behaving cells. Because there is currently no established guideline on which of these options is preferred, we convened a panel of breast experts at Mayo Clinic to review the research on supplemental screening options and to advise which options offer the best balance of benefit and risk for our patients. Let's begin with the benefits of supplemental screening. In other words, the number of additional cancers detected in women with dense breasts. 
For every thousand women who undergo screening digital mammography, mammography finds about four to five cancers. Adding ultrasound performed by a technician or with the automated system finds an additional two to three cancers for every thousand women who have this test. Adding tomosynthesis finds an additional one to two. Adding MBI finds an additional eight to nine. Among the options of ultrasound, tomosynthesis, and MBI, tomosynthesis has the lowest rate of recall for additional imaging and biopsies that result in benign findings. For every thousand women who undergo screening ultrasound, about 64 to 73 will undergo biopsy that does not demonstrate cancer, compared to 21 for MBI and only one to two for tomosynthesis. At Mayo Clinic, MRI is offered for women who are considered high risk. For women who have dense breasts but no additional risk factors to warrant MRI screening, we offer both tomosynthesis and MBI for supplemental screening. Tomosynthesis offers the lowest rate of recall for additional imaging and biopsy, and MBI offers the highest rate of additional cancers detected. If you have dense breasts and are interested in coming to Mayo Clinic to address questions about dense breasts or to undergo supplemental screening, we welcome you to contact us. To learn more about dense breasts, please click on one of the links on the screen. Thank you so much for watching this video.